You've got literally everything from balls to mini hockey to street hockey. Franklin Sports is a multinational company that makes more than 10,000 products for a variety of sports. Soccer, basketball, football, volleyball, playground balls. But it didn't start that way. In 1949, Irving Franklin was working in the scrap leather business. His grandson, Adam, says he was approached about making a baseball glove. So he said, no problem. Walked out of that meeting with an order for 10,000 baseball gloves. Didn't have a clue how he was going to make them yet. From there, they began making batting gloves. At the time, players were using golf gloves, they were using workman's gloves. So there had never been a glove designed specifically for baseball. And our team developed and designed the first batting glove for professional baseball players. The Stoughton-based company hit the next level in the 1970s when they partnered with Philadelphia Phillies third baseman, Mike Schmidt. Mike was very, very particular and basically told us that he wasn't going to endorse this product unless it was perfect. And after many, many iterations of creating samples for him, he finally landed on the one. And it's still to this day, it's called the Pro Classic. It has not been changed in over 30 years because that glove was the tried and true kind of start for us in the batting glove space. This is one of the original gloves that Mike Schmidt designed. We didn't have our MLB logo on the glove yet. Today, big-name athletes are using Franklin batting gloves throughout the major leagues, including one player Sox fans know well. So all of Xander Bogart's gloves are currently housed right here. So you can see we've got his all-red power straps with his number two on there. The pro player batting glove room at Franklin HQ houses all of the batting gloves that their player partners will use for the season. And here are Xander's home gloves. At the beginning of the year, spring training, we ship them out gloves. And then when spring training is over and opening day starts, they'll have a fresh set of gloves waiting for them when they get back to their home clubhouses. But Franklin Sports does more than baseball. Over the years, the company has expanded and partnered with countless pros, including Sugar Ray Leonard, Terry Bradshaw, and David Robinson. Despite the big deals, Franklin Sports remains true to its local roots. When I meet people out and they say, oh wow, Franklin is outside of Boston, people are very surprised. They have no idea. So I guess here we are trying to tell people that we're here in Stoughton and we've got over 150 employees here and growing and we're just happy to be Boston born and raised. An entrepreneurial spirit and a humble beginning proved to be the recipe for success for the Pianta Dosi family in 1916. My grandfather came from Avellino, Italy. He settled in Everett, Massachusetts. He decided that Everett needed bread. Salvatore Piantadosi decided he would deliver bread door to door from Boston's North End to the suburbs of Everett. His small transportation budget didn't allow many options. He bought a horse, it was a blind horse. He couldn't afford to spend the money for a healthy horse. Salvatore's business became lucrative. Mary's wife proposed expansion. She said, why don't we build our own bakery? We made some money, make the bread ourselves. He knew nothing about baking bread. He built a bakery. He hired a family of bakers from the North End to come to Everett to produce the bread. He owned the building. He made the deliveries. They baked the bread. By the 1970s, bakery items sold steadily, but demand from area sub shops for Pantadosi's signature rolls led the family to move from a small operation in Everett to a large production facility in Malden, says grandson Joe Pantadosi, who is now a co-owner. Sometimes you might hear it called a grinder or a spucky or a hero, but it was a sub roll and uh, really new to this part of the country. In the 80s, the Pantadosi Baking Company tweaked its recipe and expanded again. We started shipping frozen products uh, throughout the country and even internationally and targeting a lot of restaurant chains. We do a wide variety of hamburger style rolls and that's basically been our business all these years. Do we get to try it today? Yeah, we're gonna try it right now. And I gotta have it fresh. We'll grab a loaf right here now. I think that has our name written this all over it. This one right here does. Break off a piece. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot. Oh, look at that. Ooh. The facility can crank out up to 500,000 rolls and loaves a day and stays true to the founding mission of delivering quality bread, says Joe Piantadosi. My grandfather was very proud. He was proud of his name. He was proud of the heritage. And I think to this day, he's looking down at us and appreciative of what we've done with the company and where we've taken it. And 
We've come a long way from our roots of going house to house in a horse and wagon to now shipping trailers across the country. I hope he's looking down on us with a smile. And that bread was really good. <laughs> was good. <laughs> All right, and back to Franklin Sports. This past week, nearly 1,500 pickleball competitors mm -hmm. descended on the Billie Jean King Tennis Center, home of the U.S. Open, of course, to participate in the inaugural Franklin NYC Open. Right, and two Franklin athletes, Zane Navertil and J.W. Johnson, won two gold medals and teamed up to win gold in the men's doubles competition as well. Congratulations to them. Congratulations to the folks at Franklin also. So awesome.